Chapter 801 How, Part 2, The Mountain Peak was a supreme treasure, but it had also shrunk by a third. No matter how powerful a treasure was, it would slowly turn into nothingness in the void region. The void region was the most mysterious place, it was boundless, and no one could find its end. Even someone as powerful as a Tao supreme ruler could not comprehend the mysteries of the void region or its existence. The void region had laws, just like the heavenly sun world and the chaos. However, the laws of the void region could not be seen or touched. It was as if it did not exist. An elegant man joined Zan Chu as she looked out into the void region. Chu Luo, are you confident that you can control the chaos? Zan Chu looked at Chu Luo. Chu Luo was silent. Your father can't do anything right, he always ruins things. Zan Chu was obviously annoyed. Chu Luo sighed. It might not have gone out of control, he said softly. Even if your father has controlled the chaos, with him in charge, there's no way that things will end well. The more Zan Chu thought about it, the angrier she became. She looked at Chu Luo with resentment. Your father died back then, but you rescued his origin essence. That's fine in and of itself, but why did you have to make it so that you became his son in the chaos as well? What are you planning? Zan Chu frowned. My father although he's a bit reckless, he's still my father. His gaze was distant, as if he was reminiscing about the old times. When I was young, I often got into trouble. My father has done too much for me. I still remember that in order to save me, my father once kowtowed for three days and three nights outside the house of an expert. His blood flowed like a river, and the other party was touched and saved me from that dangerous situation. After Chu Luo grew up and became a peerless expert, he was very tolerant of his father's impetuous behavior. Even after his father died, he wanted to remain as his son. Zan Chu still looked at him coldly. She did not have a good impression of Chu Tianming. Had it not been for Chu Tianming's recklessness back then, they would not be in such a passive state. Chu Luo, tell me the truth. Do you have any other purpose besides rejoining the karma between you and your father in the chaos? Did you include me in your plan just to get my body? Zan Chu asked through gritted teeth. The corners of Chu Luo's mouth twitched, and he said, I would never do such a thing, I didn't lie to you. He reached out to grab Zan Chu's waist, but she slapped his hand away. You really didn't? I am not that kind of person, Chu Luo said seriously. Zan Chu stared at him with a suspicious expression. You're a shameless person. My feelings for you are real. Chu Luo was helpless. I'm sincere. There are thousands of women who admire me, but you're the only one in my heart. HMPH, you're probably doing this for my chaos. Back then, you said that we would use our bloodlines to control the chaos, but just look at what ended up happening. Where did Zon, Ergo? I don't know, he was truly helpless. He spent a long time back then convincing Zon Chu. The two of them then hooked up and gave birth to a son in the chaos. He had left behind all sorts of methods, plans and opportunities to ensure that his son would be able to grow stronger, powerful enough to control the newly formed supreme laws of the shattered chaos. That way, even if a new world was born, they would at least be able to control a portion of it and not all of it would fall into Hao's hands. However, Chu Zan had disappeared, all of his plans and schemes had failed to bear fruit. In order to avoid Hao's detection, they had not dared to stay in the chaos, and even chose to dissipate their wisps of consciousness immediately after they were done communicating with Chu Tianming. At this critical moment, everything seemed to have gone out of control. You don't know? You only care about your father, and not your son. Zan Chu was furious. She felt like she had been deceived by Chu Luo. However, that was already a thing of the past, so she could begrudgingly accept it. What she could not accept was the fact that her son had gone missing. Chu Luo had guaranteed that everything was under his control, yet things had ended up like this. Don't be angry, Schwenner might not be in trouble. Zan Chu looked at him coldly. If Schwenner is controlled by Hao, what will happen? Chu Luo smiled bitterly. I wouldn't know what to do either. I shouldn't have been bewitched by you, Zan Chu said through gritted teeth. Chu Luo sighed and said, since things are a little out of control, why don't we prepare another plan? Hao was a terrifying guy. Even Dao Supreme Realm experts could not avoid his influence. At this point, what other plans can we implement? Zan Chu looked at him with a frown. Chu Luo said seriously, we still have time. Let's have another son. We'll leave all of the resources here to him. If we fail, our son can continue to fight. Boom. A terrifying aura erupted from Zan Chu's body. Chu Luo, you're still trying to deceive me. I would never do that to you, darling. Chu Luo smiled bitterly. He reached out his hand and Zan Chu's powerful aura dissipated like a spring breeze. All that was left was the gentle breeze. Zan Chu looked at him in shock. Chu Luo took the chance to hold her by her waist and said, I'm true to you. You're about to break through? It's difficult. In the end, we have to wait for the creation of the new world and gain enlightenment from it. Only then can we find a path forward. A purple light blossomed from Zan Chu's body, and something strange seemed to be happening. Chu Luo was stunned. She smiled bitterly. I thought I'd surpassed you, but it seems that this isn't the case. What are our chances of winning if we join hands? Chu Luo thought for a while and shook his head. 
It's hard to predict. I'm afraid Hao will break through before you and I do. They both remained silent after that. At the foot of the mountain, a figure walked up. She was dressed in white, and looked ethereal and cold. Chu Luo looked at the woman, is it about your brother? Yes, he has been at the edge of the chaos for such a long time. He should have completed his yin and yang, so it is time to take him away. Yu Qin, although you've broken through to the Dao Supreme Ruler realm, you still can't avoid his detection. Chu Luo thought for a moment and said, let the others go. Dao Supreme Realm cultivators won't attract his attention. Just get them to bring your brother back. Yu Qin was silent for a moment before she nodded and said, all right. Then, she turned around and left. Zan Chu also walked down the mountain. Before she got out of an earshot, she suddenly stopped and said, if Schwenner is really under Hao's control, I will give up everything to get him back. After she finished speaking, she walked down the mountain. Chu Luo looked at the void region, and thought back to the various plans and opportunities he had left behind. Everything had been arranged properly, so why had things gone out of control? Chu Zan had suddenly disappeared, had his son died? This was a topic that he did not dare to broach with Zan Chu. He could not sense the karmic threads between himself and Chu Zan, it was as if all traces of him had been erased. There was only one person who could do something like this. How? How were his plans discovered? How, you killed my son? I won't let you get what you want no matter what price I have to pay. Chu Luo's eyes were cold. A figure left the mountain and advanced through the void region, heading towards the chaos. The mountain was extremely far away from the chaos. Even for Dao Supreme Realm experts, it would take a thousand years to go back and forth. At this moment, the mountain also began to move slowly toward the chaos and the heavenly sun world. The final battle was about to begin. Experts appeared all over the mountain. All of them were at least Dao Supreme Realm experts. Moreover, they were the best among the Dao Supreme Realm experts, and many of them were on the verge of becoming Dao Supreme rulers. Their expressions were grave. Chapter 802 How, Part 3 There were more than 20 Dao Supreme rulers on this mountain. Other than a few new ones, the rest were from ancient times, and there were even a few that were older than Chu Luo and Zan Chu. In the Heavenly Sun world, there were some powerful clans that were once only mentioned in legends, their ancestors were on this mountain. At this place, the greatest experts of various clans and races were gathered. In a large hall, Chu Luo and Zan Chu sat side by side. Those who could enter the hall were all Dao supreme rulers. What are our chances of winning? One of them asked. 30 to 50 percent, Chu Luo said in a deep voice. The hall was silent. How is he really invincible? Another ancient existence sighed. Seniors, can we talk to him? One of the newer Dao supreme rulers asked. That battle back then was too terrifying. Almost all of the Dao creation realm experts died, and 90% of the Dao supreme realm experts had also died. If they had no chance of winning, and could avoid fighting, why not submit? Back when this person was a Dao supreme realm expert, there were also peerless geniuses who submitted to him and worked for him. Now, he was inferior to someone else, so it was logical for him to submit to that person. Talk? An ancient existence laughed bitterly. If possible, we don't want to be enemies with him either. Submit to how? They had once submitted to how. Have you ever heard of the saying, the heavens are heartless, and the nine tribulations of annihilation? The new Dao supreme ruler was stunned. This was considered an ancient legend in their era. How is the heavens? He destroyed the world nine times, the ancient Dao supreme ruler continued. In the past, countless experts submitted to him. I was one of them, but in the end, they all died. My origin essence was taken away, and I lost everything. Even before me, there were others who were destroyed. The few of us were lucky enough to escape into the void region and survive, another ancient existence continued. The ancient times that you know of were actually destroyed. How treated everyone below him like ants and destroyed the world time and time again. All the Dao supreme rulers in the past were his followers. In the end, they were all stripped of their origin essence and killed. All of the Dao supreme rulers fell silent. Thinking back on the great battle back then, if it had not been for Chu Luo and Zan Chu, the world would have been destroyed again and they would have been buried with it, their long years of bitter cultivation turned into nothingness. Who would be willing to accept this? No one. The void region was only a temporary safe zone. Even a Dao supreme ruler would slowly turn into nothingness here. Moreover, if Hao broke through this time, he would definitely search the void region and capture them. Since that was the case, the best choice was to try and fight him. They would die either way, so why not take a gamble? Chu Zong looked at the sun in the sky and fell into deep thought. The sun was one of the sources of the heavenly sun world, and it was very likely that it was a manifestation of the transcendent laws. Was Hao in the sun? Or even Chu Zan made a startling guess. Was the sun actually formed by Hao? If that was the case, Hao would be the undisputed ruler of the heavenly sun world. Moreover, Chu Zan would then have to reevaluate his strength. Although Hao was a Dao supreme ruler, if his conjecture was right, then Hao would likely be able to mobilize the power of the heavenly sun world when necessary, which would bridge the gap between him and Chu Zan. 
Chu Zan thought about the system's derivation, and determined that this was highly likely. When the heavenly sun world and the chaos fused their yin and yang, a new world would be born, and Hao would have absolute control over the heavenly sun world and its inhabitants. Then, he would definitely make his move to try and wrest control of the heavenly Tao from Chu Zan. If he was successful, then he would be the sole and supreme ruler of the new world. However, there was no way Chu Zan would let that dream come true. No matter how much you plan, it will all be in vain in the end. Chu Zan chuckled, and was looking forward to wrecking Hao's countless years of planning and preparation. In the chaos, Ding Yu had already broken through to the Tao's supreme realm, and was consolidating his cultivation foundation. Yi Lingling had broken through and created her Tao, followed by Shui Ping. Qi La and Chu Yu followed closely behind, they were all consolidating their cultivation foundations. Chu Zan looked at the situation in the heavenly sun world. The three factions were about to go to war, and things were reaching their tipping point. L Chapter 803 Ding Yu's arrival The time flow difference continued to be streamlined. Now, a year in the heavenly sun world was equivalent to a thousand years in the chaos. The chaos continued to sink below the heavenly sun world. The embryonic form of the yin and yang world had already begun to take shape, though there was no reincarnation cycle for now. A trace of the heavenly Tao laws had already begun to extend toward the heavenly sun world, which contained the laws of the heavenly Tao's reincarnation cycle. In the void region, a black-robed figure appeared outside the chaos. He tried his best to restrain his aura and was wary of his surroundings, especially in the direction where the heavenly sun world was. He was afraid of being discovered or attacked. Looking at the chaos that was merging with the heavenly sun world and gradually sinking under the heavenly sun world, he frowned. There was nothing at the edge of the primal chaos. He carefully inspected the area and indeed did not find the head. After hesitating for a moment, he carefully flew over at the edge of the chaos. What was the new chaos? He was a little curious. The chaos was under Zan Chu's control, so it should not be dangerous. Hao would likely have less control over the chaos, right? With his strength, he should be able to enter the chaos quietly and investigate. Li Tian was most likely within the chaos. He could just enter quietly and take him away. With that thought, the black robed figure stepped into the chaos. In the heavenly Tao, Ding Yu sat cross legged, and a faint aura of his sword Tao emanated from his body. Suddenly, he opened his eyes. A sword strike streaked toward the edge of the chaos. Who dares to trespass into the chaos? Hei Yu and the others appeared. Someone actually entered the chaos. Boom! A sword stabbed out from the chaos. The black robed man was shocked. There was actually a Tao Supreme Realm expert in the chaos? He threw a punch to counter the sword strike, and black light filled the air. How's puppet? Who are you? Why are you trespassing into the chaos? This is the territory of the Zong Gate sect. Ding Yu's figure appeared at the edge of the chaos, his aura was sharp, and full of killing intent. The black robed man was shocked, what a powerful sword Tao. He felt a lot of pressure, he frowned slightly, since when did the chaos become the territory of the Zong Gate sect? Was this a faction that Hao had nurtured to control the chaos? I'm here to find someone, I'll leave immediately after I find him. Ding Yu's sword intent was like a rainbow, and his killing intent billowed around him. Who are you looking for? Lai Tian. I don't know him. There's no such person in the chaos. Ding Yu frowned. The black robed man was silent. He was a head that was once outside the chaos. Have you seen him before? The black robed man asked. You are the first person to ever enter the chaos. Before you, not even an ant, let alone a head, has ever entered the chaos. Ding Yu held a sword in his hand and took a step out of the chaos. Don't make up an excuse to invade the chaos. Let's have a proper battle, without any underhanded means. His supreme sword Dao swept out into the void region. Ding Yu of the Zong Gate sect is here to seek your guidance. The black robed man was shocked. What a powerful and pure sword Dao. It was likely that he would not be able to defeat this person. Farewell. The black robed man retreated. Fighting here would only alert Hao to his presence, which was something that he absolutely did not want to happen. Since you're here, why are you in a hurry to leave? Identify yourself. Sword beams streaked out into the void region, sweeping toward the black robed man. The black robed man did not entertain the thought of fighting and quickly retreated. Ding Yu pursued him for a while before he frowned and retreated. He looked at the vast chaos and then at the heavenly sun world. Using the heavenly Tao seal, he sent a message to Hei Yu and the others, I'm going to see master. I won't be returning to the chaos. All right, Hei Yu replied. Since Ding Yu had broken through, she had to strive to break through as soon as possible as well. The heavenly Tao had become the supreme law of the chaos. The divine world was the number one world in the chaos, and it contained great fortune. Over the past thousand years, countless monstrous geniuses had emerged from the divine world. Ding Yu stepped into the heavenly sun world. After entering the heavenly sun world, he sensed the mysterious force. Frowning slightly, he concealed himself and left. Not long after Ding Yu left, two figures appeared. A Tao supreme realm expert entered from the outside. Are they back? Perhaps the time is coming. 
Can you and I still survive? There was silence. The two Dao Supreme Realm experts felt bitter. They were regarded as the strongest cultivators by all of the living beings in the heavenly sun world, but they were actually not in control of their own lives, and could not control their own fate. They looked up at the sky and sighed, then disappeared. When Ding Yu stepped into the courtyard, he felt a little dazed. It was as if he had returned to the courtyard in the Chu family's territory. As usual, Chu Zan laid on the recliner leisurely. Greetings, master, Ding Yu bowed excitedly. Um, not bad. Chu Zan glanced at Ding Yu. Although he had just broken through to the Dao Supreme Realm, his strength surpassed Lai Tian and Chun Lin's. His sword Dao was pure. With this as his foundation, it would probably not be long before he reached the peak of the Dao Supreme Realm. He had finally achieved his objective of having the strength to protect his junior brothers and sisters, and was a qualified eldest senior brother. Ding Yu. You're here. Su Shenner came out of the wooden house. She was happy to see a familiar face. He he. Hello, Sister Su. Ding Yu chuckled. Su Shenner had actually also reached the Dao Supreme Realm. After checking her cultivation level for a bit, Ding Yu was happy. Su Shenner's strength was inferior to his. He had finally surpassed everyone. He became the second strongest cultivator in the Zon Gate sect, after his master of course. Ding Yu's arrival alerted Yi Lingling and the other three. They all came out of seclusion. Greetings, eldest senior brother. Yi Lingling and the other three hurriedly bowed. They had all heard of their eldest senior brother, Ding Yu. He was the number one in terms of the sword Dao. Not bad, you have all reached the Dao creation realm. Ding Yu looked at his junior brothers and sisters and nodded. Your sword Dao is alright, but it's not pure enough, Ding Yu looked at Yi Lingling and said. It's said that eldest senior brother's sword Dao is the best, junior sister wants to experience it. Yi Lingling was eager to learn, sure, Ding Yu nodded. It was time for him to show off his strength as the eldest senior disciple of the Zon Gate sect. The aura around his body instantly weakened as he restrained his cultivation to the early stage of the Dao creation realm. He was prepared to defeat her with a weaker cultivation level. Seeing this, Yi Lingling felt indignant. Chu Zan raised his hand and sealed Ding Yu's cultivation to ensure that it did not accidentally erupt and injure Yi Lingling. Since that's your intention, then give it a try. With a wave of his hand, a world seemed to appear where Ding Yu and Yi Lingling were, separate from the small valley. Junior sister, please, Ding Yu said confidently. Eldest senior brother, here I come. Yi Lingling looked serious. The ethereal divine sword appeared, and flashed unpredictably toward Ding Yu. Ding Yu did not move, but suddenly unsheathed his sword and stabbed it forward. It was an ordinary attack. However, in Yi Lingling's eyes, it was a peerless sword strike that seemed to bypass all of her unpredictable attacks. It was aimed at the vital points of her technique. Her heart trembled. So strong, her body turned illusory. Ding Yu stepped forward and stabbed again with another ordinary looking sword strike. Shui Ping, Qi Le, and Chu Yu watched without blinking. Ding Yu's sword was just inches away from Yi Lingling's heart. The victor had been decided. Chu Zan waved his hand and removed the seal on Ding Yu's cultivation. Ding Yu is number one in terms of the purity of his sword Dao, he said to Yi Lingling, who was still in a daze. Although you're skilled in the sword Dao, you're still a little lacking. Your talent does not solely center around your sword Dao, it lies in your unique constitution too. Thank you for your guidance, master. Yi Lingling bowed. Thank you for your guidance, eldest senior brother. She bowed to Ding Yu. Ding Yu nodded and said, if you have any doubts regarding the sword Dao, you can come to me. Lai Tian and Chunlin came out of the scripture pavilion to see what was going on. Chu Zan's eldest disciple had arrived, and they were very curious about his level of strength. Ding Yu was stunned when he saw Lai Tian. Could this be the person that the black-robed man was looking for? Lai Tian and Chunlin's expressions were solemn. They could tell that Ding Yu was stronger than them. The eldest disciple of the Zan Gate sect was actually a Dao Supreme Realm expert. You are Lai Tian? Ding Yu asked. That's me, Lai Tian replied, slightly startled. Ding Yu looked at Chu Zan and said, Master, there was a black-robed man. Chapter 804 Igniting Change, Part 1, Ding Yu then talked about the black-robed man, which left Lai Tian stunned. I don't know him, Lai Tian said while frowning. Why was this person looking for him? He looked at Chunlin. Do you know this person? Chunlin shook her head. It's either friend or enemy, but it does not matter in either case, Chu Zan said. I'm worried that the other party is here to capture me and threaten my big sister. Lai Tian hesitated for a moment. His big sister had always been cold and arrogant. She preferred to be alone and had few friends. Lai Tian looked at Chu Zan. He was tempted to seek his big sister out. Now that he was a Dao Supreme Realm expert, if she was in danger, he would be able to help her out. Do as you see fit, Chu Zan pointed at the sky before continuing, but remember, their enemy should be that person. The people from back then should have joined forces. Lai Tian sighed. I'll continue my secluded cultivation, I'm still too weak. Lai Tian returned to the scripture pavilion, and Chunlin followed suit. 
Since you've already broken through to the Tao Supreme Realm, I'll preach the Tao to you. I will teach you about the path above the Tao Supreme Ruler Realm. Whether you can comprehend it or not depends on yourself. Chu Zan looked at Ding Yu and said, Also, if you want to break through and reach the Tao Supreme Ruler Realm, you need to comprehend your own path. If you break through using the normal path, your sword Tao will not be pure. I'll also teach you a sword technique. Yes, Master, Ding Yu said respectfully. Chu Zan explained to his disciples. Of course, Lai Tian and Chunlin appeared to listen in. After all, it was extremely rare for Chu Zan to preach the Tao. Furthermore, the two of them were increasingly certain that Chu Zan had already surpassed the Tao Supreme Ruler Realm and had broken through to a higher realm. After Chu Zan finished preaching the Tao, he taught Ding Yu the singular heavenly sword technique. Ding Yu then found a place to meditate in seclusion in the valley. Yu Qin frowned after hearing what the black-robed man had to say. I understand. Her figure then disappeared. In the hall, the Tao Supreme Rulers gathered again, and Yu Qin repeated the words of the black-robed man. The Zan Gate sect has nothing to do with me, Zan Chu said in a low voice. In that case, have we lost control of the chaos? The situation had become increasingly unfavorable. The Zan Gate sect probably belongs to Hao, Chu Luo said. In that case, we only have a 20 to 30 percent chance of victory. We have to foil his plan even if we have to risk our lives. We'll die either way, so why not risk it all? Maybe we still have a chance, a Tao supreme ruler said. They had no way out. Rather than meekly accepting their fate and suffering humiliation at Hao's hands, it was better to fight and potentially live. Let's go all out. It's not like we don't have any chance of winning, Chu Luo said. After the decision was made, the meeting adjourned. At the peak of the mountain, Zan Chu looked at the void region silently. You really don't want to consider having another child? Chu Luo asked. I won't be deceived by you again, Zan Chu said coldly. You've misunderstood me. Chu Luo sighed, but Zan Chu could not be bothered with him. It's time to speed up our return to the heavenly sun world. The speed at which the mountain approached the heavenly sun world increased. There were less than ten years to the million year milestone. On this day, Yi Lingling and the others left the valley. Yi Lingling and Shui Ping entered the intersection between the chaos and the heavenly sun world, where Yin and Yang converged. Qi La and Chu Yu continued to adventure within the heavenly sun world. News of the reappearance of the Zan Gate sect's disciples soon spread throughout the heavenly sun great world. At this moment, the three geniuses that led the three factions within the human race came to a tacit understanding. They had to defeat Sheila. The disciples of the Zan Gate sect were too much a threat to them. On this day, Sheila brought Chu Yu to the territory of one of these geniuses, who was the very same one who coveted Chu Yu's beauty back then. Sheila was here to kill him, it was payback time. Sheila, how dare you disregard the honor of the human race and ignore the war between our race and the Fei race? Can you even call yourself a human? Disgraceful. Facing the criticism, Sheila smiled calmly. Still preaching? It doesn't matter. Today, I will kill you. Chi Li's aura erupted. The pressure of his Tao creation realm cultivation suppressed that genius. Impossible. The genius had a look of disbelief. He had obtained a Tao supreme ruler's inheritance. He had a Tao supreme ruler's treasure. How could he lose to Sheila? How had Sheila broken through before him? A figure appeared from a hidden space and looked at Sheila in shock. Given the current situation, the geniuses of the human race should not engage in internal strife. Otherwise. Sheila looked at him coldly. I have never taken the initiative to offend anyone, but if anyone offends me, I will not forgive them easily. If you want to be biased, then let's fight. Chapter 805 Igniting Change, Part 2 The Tao Creation Realm Law Enforcer expression was extremely gloomy. HMPH, he snorted coldly. How arrogant. Do you think that you're invincible just because you've broken through and created your Tao? The law enforcer attacked, and Shi Le responded in kind. The power of Shi Li's Dao was like a torrential river that flowed endlessly. Yin and Yang intertwined and sent the law enforcer flying. Living long doesn't mean you're strong. Shi Le threw punch after punch after the law enforcer, forcing the latter to retreat. The genius had a ferocious expression on his face. Shi Le, do you think you can defeat me just because you broke through to the Dao creation realm? I have a Dao supreme ruler's treasure. Light blossomed from his body, and a Dao supreme ruler's aura swept out. Chi Le frowned. This guy was actually able to activate a portion of the treasure's power? A puppet. At this moment, Chi Le understood that this genius was just a puppet of that mysterious person. A ring appeared in his hand. A Tao Supreme Ruler's treasure. Our Zon Gate sect doesn't lack such things. The ring emitted a faint light and instantly appeared around the genius body and imprisoned him. Impossible. The genius panicked, but it was too late. Chi Le waved his hand and killed him. The Tao Supreme Ruler's treasure suddenly disappeared, and it surged with a strange aura. Moments later, it appeared in front of Chu Yu. It was as if it wanted to enter Chu Yu's body and control her. Clang. Chu Yu's body flashed with an inexplicable radiance, and the Tao Supreme Ruler's treasure dimmed and fell to the ground. 
Chu Yu bent down to pick it up happily. Chi Lo went over and said, Those who still want to fight, step forward. No one moved. On this day, Chi Lo took control of one of the three factions of the human race. Then, he forced the other two geniuses to submit, uniting the human race of the Heavenly Sun World. This caused the Fei Race Alliance and the Alliance of Unaffiliated Cultivators to feel pressured. Chi Lo and Chu Yu officially presided over the human geniuses and led them to the intersection of the Heavenly Sun World in the chaos. They were soon followed by the Fei Race Alliance and the Alliance of Unaffiliated Cultivators. The fusion of Yin and Yang had officially begun. Chu Zan looked up at the sky. Now that the Zan Gate sect had taken control of the situation, how would Hao react? Would he send Dao Supreme Realm experts to kill Chila and Chu Yu? It was very likely. Ding Yu. Yes, Master. Ding Yu appeared in front of Chu Zan. As the eldest senior brother of the Zan Gate sect, you should take a trip out of the valley and take care of your junior brothers and sisters. Ding Yu had been comprehending the singular heavenly sword. His strength had increased greatly again. It was also time for him to put his strength to the test. Killing a Dao Supreme Realm expert will help you to master this sword technique faster. Go. Yes, master. Ding Yu rubbed his fists together, his face filled with excitement. Li Tian's figure appeared. Do you need Chunlin and I to head out as well? Chu Zan pondered for a moment before nodding his head. Go ahead. Li Tian and Chunlin also left the valley. They protected Yi Lingling and Shui Ping respectively. Chu Zan looked at the Heavenly Dao, and saw that Hei Yu was about to break through to the Dao Supreme Realm. In the ruins of the battlefield, a stone house stood alone. An old man sat cross-legged inside. At a certain moment, he suddenly opened his eyes. Kill Chi La and seize his fate. Then, your fate will be in your own hands. His gaze gradually turned sharp. Control your own destiny. He could not suppress the temptation of controlling his own destiny. Even though he vaguely felt that there was something wrong with his thought process, it was ignored. The old man disappeared from the stone house. Currently, the geniuses of the human race were unified, and the older generation of human experts also supported Sheila. After all, no one in the entire human race could compare to him. Moreover, Sheila was so strong that even the Tao creation realm experts from the older generation were inferior to him. It's time to deal with the Fey race and the alliance of unaffiliated cultivators. It's time for the human race to unify the heavenly sun world, a human genius said. Right, it's the perfect time to make a move. The human race should take charge of the heavenly sun world. The other geniuses and the older generation experts all agreed. Suddenly, Chi Le frowned and looked in a certain direction. At this moment, the hall collapsed and turned into dust, shocking everyone present. Even the Tao creation realm experts of the older generation had a drastic change in expression as they realized what was going on. An ethereal voice rang out. Chi Le and Chu Yu of the Zon Gate sect harbor evil intentions. They are treacherous and oppress the human geniuses. They deserve to be executed. An old figure could be vaguely seen floating in the void. A palm strike that carried an endless amount of terrifying pressure pressed down on Sheila and Chu Yu. A Dao Supreme Expert. It was actually a legendary Dao Supreme Expert. This person was also one of the creators of the laws of the competition among geniuses. He actually took action personally to target Sheila and Chu Yu. Could it be that the genius who was killed was this Dao Supreme Realm Expert's personal disciple? Or was it really as he said, that Sheila and Chu Yu harbored evil intentions? Chi Li's expression was calm but his gaze exuded fighting spirit despite the cultivation level gap between them. He would not go down without a fight. HMPH. A cold snort was suddenly heard, and the palm strike dissipated. The terrifying pressure the Tao Supreme Realm expert exuded instantly disappeared without a trace. Then, a figure appeared in front of Chi La and Chu Yu, whose sharp aura swept across the surroundings. Eldest senior brother, Chi La and Chu Yu bowed. The Zon Gate sect despises those who bully the weak. How dare a trashy Dao Supreme Realm cultivator like you be so arrogant? Today, I will kill you. The old man felt a strong sense of danger. Who are you? There has never been a Dao Supreme Realm expert like you in the Heavenly Sun World. There were only six Dao Supreme Realm experts in the Heavenly Sun World, and they all knew each other. Remember it well. I'm Ding Yu of the Zong Gate sect. Ding Yu soared into the sky, as his sword appeared in his hand. All of the human geniuses and experts on the mountain peak were tense. A great battle between Dao Supreme Realm experts was about to commence. Its eldest disciple was actually a Dao Supreme Realm expert. In that case, what kind of existence was the sect master of the Zon Gate sect? We're both Dao Supreme Realm cultivators, can you really kill me? The old man sneered. He felt a strong sense of danger from Ding Yu, however, he was not afraid at all. Dao Supreme Realm experts were not so easy to kill. He was confident that even if he was defeated and suffered heavy injuries, he would be able to escape. He had fought other Dao Supreme Realm experts before, and was still alive and kicking. What's so difficult about killing a trashy old man like you? Ding Yu swung his sword, and it almost seemed like the world would be split in twain by it. The old man's expression changed drastically. This would kill him if he was hit. 
Ever since he broke through to the Tao's supreme realm, he had forgotten what it felt like to experience a fatal crisis. At this moment, he truly felt death approaching. Boom. A terrifying power swept through the sky as he used all of his power in an attempt to save himself. The sword strike flashed by, and space was torn apart. The old man was stunned, and his eyes gradually became empty. A thin line of blood appeared on his body. Ding Yu did not continue to attack. Instead, he carefully comprehended the sword technique he had just used. Singular heavenly sword. A faint shadow appeared behind the old man. That was his divine soul, which was gradually fading. The old man's divine soul looked up at the sky, revealing a confused and despairing expression. The heavens are heartless. The path of cultivation is in vain in the end. The old man let out a sorrowful cry. Ding Yu of the Zon Gate sect, you are very strong and monstrous, but so what? Under the heavens, everyone is an ant. In the end, you will end up like me. I'm free now. Ha ha ha, thanks. Then, his divine soul had dissipated. If you don't defy the heavens, the end of your cultivation path will be in vain. The old man's final words echoed in the air. All of the experts were silent as an inexplicable sense of sadness welled up in their hearts. Many people revealed confused expressions, not knowing what to make of the situation. Chapter 806 Heavens, Part 1, The Old Man Was Dead. A legendary Tao Supreme Realm existence had actually fallen. Everyone was silent. The higher one's cultivation level was, the more one could sense the grief and indignation in the old man's words. The old man did not hate Ding Yu. It was not that he was unwilling to die at Ding Yu's hands, but he hated the heavens. The heavens were merciless. Ding Yu looked up at the sky. The heavens clearly referred to that mysterious force. He looked at the geniuses present. Most of them were confused. There were even some who lost confidence in their cultivation path. What was the point of cultivating if in the end it was all for nothing? Ding Yu's voice was cold and arrogant. Even if you die in the end, you can die standing tall. It's better than fading away in mediocrity. What's there to be confused about? That's right. If the heavens are merciless, then we will go against the heavens, Sheila said in a deep voice. The geniuses who were in a daze were woken up. Even if they died, they had to live a life worth living. How could they allow their Tao hearts to be shaken because of this? As the old man died, he screamed at the heavens for being heartless. The situation in the heavenly sun world seemed to have changed, and the name of the heavens once again appeared in the minds of all living beings. In a desolate space, an illusory figure appeared. If you don't defy the heavens, the end of your cultivation will be in vain. Then, four more figures appeared. The five of them were silent. Of the original six, one had already fallen. How can the heavens be defied? One of them muttered to himself. Boom. At this moment, their minds were filled with rumbling sounds. It was a warning that they were being disrespectful to the heavens. It's all for nothing. Another person sighed. His figure disappeared. At this moment, all living beings were actually in awe of the heavens, and mortals began to worship the heavens. Even some cultivation forces also started worshipping the heavens, paying their respects whenever there was a major event. It seemed that when one worshipped the heavens, it would be easier to cultivate and obtain more opportunities. One could be blessed by the heavens. Reverence for the heavens began to appear in the minds of cultivators, and this feeling was constantly weighing on the hearts and minds of the cultivators of the heavenly sun world. The higher one's cultivation level was, the more one understood what the heavens represented. Ancient legends began to resurface. Those who disrespect the heavens will die. They had to respect the heavens, in the valley, Chu Zan looked up at the sky. After Ding Yu killed that Tao Supreme Realm expert, the situation changed. When Qi Le unified the human race, the power of fate fused with his perfected yin and yang, causing yin and yang even faster. Some changes appeared within the sun of the heavenly sun world. Heavens? Chu Zan muttered. Interesting. Hao began to make preparations because he lost control of the situation. Now, the weak respected the heavens, while the strong feared the heavens, but tried to go against the heavens. Clearly, the heavens referred to Hao. Under Qi Li's leadership, the humans began to force the Fei race to submit. Even if the other two factions joined forces now, they would not be able to resist the power of the human race. The true unification of the heavenly sun world was about to arrive. One third of the chaos had already begun to fuse with the heavenly sun world, and the new world was about to be born. Hei Yu had broken through. After breaking through to the Tao Supreme Realm, Hei Yu did not leave the chaos. Instead, she guarded the chaos and ordered the geniuses of the chaos to head to the intersection of yin and yang. The heavenly Tao laws began to permeate into the heavenly sun world. They were advancing toward the transcendent laws of the new world. The transcendent laws of the heavenly sun world faintly changed, and in turn tried to infiltrate and devour the heavenly Tao. A competition of laws was happening silently in the background. The chaos was unified, and great fortunes were discovered. There were more and more experts, and geniuses continued to rise. The heavenly Tao would become stronger and stronger. In the battle of the laws, if there was no external interference, the longer the battle dragged on, the greater the advantage the heavenly Tao would have. 
In that case, the final victor would be the Heavenly Tao. However, there was no way Hao would allow such an outcome to happen. Although Chu Zan did not directly control the Heavenly Tao, and simply allowed it to develop, he would still give it his utmost support when the time called for it. Chapter 807 Heavens, Part 2, Thus, the Heavenly Tao would not lose. No matter how the situation developed, no matter how chaotic it was, it did not affect Chu Zan at all. He stayed in the courtyard, waiting for the million-year milestone to arrive. The four divine beasts had already broken through to the Tao Supreme Ruler realm, while the heavenly spirit cat and the sky-shaking golden rock had made significant progress in the Tao Supreme Ruler realm. The spirit devouring flower had also reached the Tao Supreme Ruler realm. It was also the heavenly Tao's divine tree, so when necessary, it could return to the heavenly Tao and stabilize its development. In the void region, the pitch black mountain continued to move forward, getting closer and closer to where heavenly sun world was. On this day, everyone on the mountain whispered, the heavens. Even though they were already far away from the heavenly sun world, they could sense Hao's influence through their unconscious thoughts about the heavens. Hao's influence was unavoidable. The more this was the case, the more fearful they were. Most of them had participated in the great battle back then, so they knew how terrifying he was. The more ancient an existence was, the more they knew how powerful and terrifying Hao was. The number of Tao supreme rulers back then actually was not low. Every generation, there would be a group of cultivators who managed to reach the Tao supreme ruler realm. No one knew exactly how many Tao supreme rulers had been born over the countless years. Furthermore, Tao supreme rulers were not constrained by the limits of lifespan, and could live forever. Under normal circumstances, it was very difficult for a Tao supreme ruler to kill another Tao supreme ruler. As such, the reason why supreme rulers were so rare now was because they were all dead, and the culprit behind that was Hao, who used their origin essence to nourish the world. There was once a period of time when the supreme rulers united and wanted to defy the Hao and break the cycle of fate. After all, no one was willing to accept such a fate. However, they failed. All of the Tao supreme rulers who tried to defy Hao were eventually killed, and their origin essence scattered into the world to nourish it. Hao was also a Tao supreme ruler, so why was he so powerful? The later generations eventually understood that the paths to the Tao supreme and Tao supreme realms were pioneered by Hao. He had reached the limit of the Tao supreme ruler realm and had even taken half a step into the next realm. It was even possible that the paths they took as latecomers were flawed due to Hao's intervention, and were incomplete. As such, the gap between them and Hao was insurmountable. Countless years passed. The heavenly sun world was still the same, and so was the chaos. However, these Tao supreme rulers knew that Hao was preparing for the creation of a new world in a new path. Once he succeeded, he would use their origin essence to nourish that new world. Therefore, if they did not do something about it, their lives would end like those who had gone before them. The Tao supreme rulers looked at the two figures at the top of the mountain. Chu Luo and Zan Chu one was from the heavenly sun world, and the other was from the chaos. It just so happened that one was Yang and one was Yin. Moreover, both of them had great fortunes and special treasures. They actually avoided Hao's control and became the key to breaking the cycle of fate. Therefore, they had silently supported these two and spent countless years planning. In order not to be detected by Hao, they all hid in the void region. The Tao supreme rulers who had fled to the void region much earlier were turned into nothingness before the plan could even be carried out. However, they did not regret it. Even if I turn into nothingness, I won't make it easy for Hao. They laughed as they perished. However, they still failed in the end. Chu Luo's father, Chu Tianming, was reckless and arrogant, and had incited Hao to action by acting before the plan was ready. Of course, Chu Tianming was not entirely to blame. Hao had already noticed the abnormality and had already begun to take action. However, Chu Tianming's recklessness had brought the great battle forward. They were unprepared and lost, as they had underestimated Hao. Before the great battle broke out, no one had expected Hao to support and nurture so many Tao Supreme Realm and Tao Supreme Ruler Realm experts. Even Chu Luo and Zan Chu could only protect a portion of the survivors. After that great battle, none of them were capable of defeating Hao, the only solution was if Chu Luo and Zan Chu had the strength to rival Hao. We have to defeat Hao this time, a Tao supreme ruler said in a desolate tone. If necessary, we should sacrifice ourselves to strengthen Chu Luo and Zan Chu's strength. Even if we can't kill Hao, we can still severely injure him and break his control over the world. That will make it our victory, another Tao supreme ruler said in a deep voice. That's the only way. Everyone sighed. They could all leave behind a wisp of their origin essence while sacrificing themselves so that these two could successfully break through the situation and be reborn. If they were going to die, why not sacrifice themselves to make Chu Luo and Zan Chu stronger? If Chu Luo and Zan Chu managed to break through, they would be able to hold Hao back. Then, they would have the chance to be reborn through the wisp of origin essence they left behind. No matter what the final outcome was, it was still better than having their origin essence harvested and scattered by Hao. On the peak, Zan Chu stared at Chu Luo and asked seriously, do you still have a backup plan? You know my plan. I didn't hide it from you, Chu Luo said helplessly. 
HMPH. Zan Chu snorted coldly. You're a cunning and shameless person. How could you only have one plan? You and I are husband and wife. Why would I hide it from you? Zan Chu sneered. I shouldn't have been so stupid back then and been deceived by you. Chu Luo's mouth twitched and he sighed. That was all in the past. Why bother with it now? Back then, he was in a difficult situation, so he had survived by relying on Zan Chu. However, he did not feel that it was embarrassing to live off a woman. I was really lucky to have been able to marry you, Chu Luo chuckled. You're really shameless. How many women have you hooked up with? Zan Chu gritted her teeth and asked angrily. Just one, Chu Luo said seriously. Zan Chu looked doubtful. Chu Luo looked straight into her eyes. Her expression was calm, and her gaze was unwavering. Tell me, do you think I can help you break through if I give it my all and fuse with you? Zan Chu asked after a long while. I'm not confident in my chances, Chu Luo said after a moment of silence. Chower, what about you? Are you confident? No, I'm not. Zan Chu shook her head. I'm slightly weaker than you, so my chances of breaking through are lower than yours. The two of them fell silent again. If they did not defeat Hao, it would all be in vain. Even if the two of them possessed great fortune and supreme treasures, they would still be unable to escape Hao's harvest in the end. I originally thought that if we combined our powers and fused them with Schwenner, we could rely on the chaos to fight Hao and even kill him. Who knew that? Chu Luo sighed bitterly. Chapter 808 Devada Realm, Part 1 There were too many variables in his plans. This was the sorrow of not having sufficient strength, he could only rely on all kinds of plans, schemes, and calculations in hopes of defeating Hao. Chu Luo's expression was bleak, while Zan Chu was also silent. After a long while, there's one more thing, however, it can't be considered a backup plan. As expected, someone as cunning as you always has something hidden. It's not a plan prepared for this battle, it's a plan for the fight against Hao to continue in the future if we lose. Zan Chu did not ask further. Chu Luo continued, I once obtained an unusual illusory rune, and fused it with a drop of my father's descendant's blood essence. When he grows stronger, he will gradually inherit some of my abilities and inheritances. If we fail this time, when he breaks through to the Dao Supreme Ruler realm, he will definitely walk the path that we are on now. Even if he fails in the end, he can still disgust how. If he inherited your cunning and shamelessness, he might have a chance, Zan Chu sneered. Chu Luo smiled awkwardly. After Hei Yu broke through to the Dao Supreme realm, Chu Yi followed suit. After breaking through, Chu Yi also stayed in the chaos to continue consolidating his cultivation. Thanks to Hei Yu and Chu Yi's breakthrough, the Heavenly Dao improved further. More of the Heavenly Dao laws seeped into the Heavenly Sun world. Then, the million year milestone arrived, and Chu Zan touched the barrier to the next realm. You stayed at home for a million years, you nurtured outstanding disciples, promoted the development of yin and yang, unified the chaos, and accelerated the birth of the new world. You have been rewarded with a breakthrough to the Heavenly Realm, a Heavenly Dao seed, and a deduction opportunity for the next realm. As expected, there was a breakthrough reward among the rewards for the million year milestone. However, Chu Zan was not far from breaking through himself, this reward only brought it forward. The real rewards were the deduction for the next realm in the Heavenly Dao seed, which would allow him to continue to journey further on the path of cultivation. Chu Zan checked the rewards. The Heavenly Dao seed can be planted in the void region. It can take root there and open up the myriad worlds. As expected of the million year milestone reward, Initially, he was prepared to use the origin Great Dao as the foundation to open up a world in the Void region, but he could now use the Heavenly Dao seed as well. In this way, he could open up more worlds. Chu Zan received his reward. Boom. His body surged with power as the 3,000 masses of chaotic energy of creation, and the worlds within it, rapidly expanded. Each mass of chaotic energy 3,000 worlds. Chu Zan's strength had reached an unbelievable level at this moment. There was a huge difference between before and after the breakthrough, and he had now surpassed the strength of a great heavenly realm cultivator. A single thought could open up the world. A single thought could create living things. As for the other cultivators, they had to start from the minor heavenly realm and continue to cultivate and explore before finally breaking through to the great heavenly realm. Furthermore, even if they did, they would still be weaker than Chu Zan thanks to the number of worlds he had. He called this unique realm he had reached the Devada realm. Perhaps in the future, there would be cultivators who managed to reach the minor, and maybe even great heavenly realm. However, the number of those cultivators who could reach the Devada realm would be limited. This was caused by the upper limit of talent of the chaos in the heavenly sun world. Ding Yu and his other disciples, however, had surpassed this upper limit because of Chu Zan. Thus, they possessed the potential to break through and reach the heavenly realm, and perhaps even beyond. Other cultivators were divided into the minor heavenly realm and the great heavenly realm, while Chu Zan only had one realm, the Devada realm. He still needed to deduce the next realm, but was in no hurry, as he was still a long way from the peak of the Devada realm. Chapter 809 L Devada Realm, Part 2 The worlds were connected to each other via his Tao path, which acted as a bridge. There were still too few living beings in these worlds. 
For the time being, only the first world had creatures that had created civilizations and stepped onto the path of cultivation. However, it was only a matter of time before this changed, and more creatures embarked on the path of cultivation. Chu Zan did not interfere. He allowed these worlds to freely evolve and transform. After breaking through to the Devada realm, Chu Zan could already see how the void region was formed. The void region was formed by indescribable laws, which seemed like a blank piece of paper, but also seemed to contain some fundamental rules. Nothingness was the source of all life. Be it supreme laws or great Tao, all existences were born from nothingness. It was the beginning of everything. The heavenly sun world and the chaos were born from nothingness. In that case, what kind of existence was the system? Chu Zan was curious. After breaking through to the Devada realm, he once again asked about the origin of the system. The system is the beginning of everything. It can create everything, transcend nothingness, and has no end. This time, Chu Zan obtained some information. The system was beyond the void region and its laws. Furthermore, there was no limit to it. This meant that the system was constantly growing stronger and improving, which in turn meant that Chu Zan would also grow stronger and stronger alongside. For other cultivators, when they reached the end of their cultivation path, they had to exhaust everything to find a new path, and might not even succeed. On the other hand, Chu Zan could rely on the system to continue moving forward and open up new paths of cultivation without any issues. Now that he had broken through to the Devada realm, he was already invincible. Furthermore, from now on, he would remain invincible. At this moment, Chu Zan seemed to see the universe of his previous life and the process of his arrival into this world. That universe was somewhere in the void region. It was a domain of the void region that was born under some indescribable circumstances. A supreme treasure? Earth was just a tiny speck of dust in that universe. At a certain moment, the system fused with Chu Zan's soul, passing through the void region and entering Zan Chu's body. Thus, he was born in the chaos. When he emerged from the womb, he had already awakened the memories of his previous life. Chu Zan had already transcended his past and present life. He was no longer within the boundaries of karma and was not affected by the past or the future. He was not affected by the erosion of time. Even if he went out in the void region, he would never be turned into nothingness by the laws of the void region. Chu Zan's gaze was deep as he followed the threads of karma of his past and present life. His gaze seemed to cross the endless void region. He saw a small dot of light in the endless void region, which was his past universe. However, that universe was no longer the same as before. The blue planet that was as small as dust had long disappeared. Chu Zan was merely curious. That universe no longer had any living beings, and civilization had long since perished. It had already become a supreme treasure, floating quietly in the void like a round pearl. If no one took it away, in a few more years, this universe pearl would become empty, born from nothingness and eventually becoming nothingness. This universe's fortune had already come to an end and did not have the power to last forever in the void region. Chu Zan retracted his gaze. The universe pearl had surpassed the level of a Tao supreme ruler's treasure, and was even comparable to the void pearl. However, it did not pique his interest. Rather, he planned to have one of his disciples obtain it. The Void Pearl was probably once a universe as well, and was likely in the process of turning into nothingness when it was obtained by Hao. Chu Zan took out the Heavenly Tao Seed, it was round and had a transcendental aura. At a glance, it was as if he could see the evolution of the myriad worlds within it, containing endless great Tao's, endless creation energy, and endless vitality. The Void region was boundless. Even Chu Zan, who had reached the Devada realm, could not see the end of it. Chu Zan guessed that there was no end to the Void. He looked up at the sky, Hao had nowhere to hide. How, who had transformed into the unseen, had his consciousness protected by the void pearl. He was at the edge of the heavenly sun world, and his consciousness had enveloped the entire heavenly sun world. In fact, a portion of his consciousness even wanted to envelop the chaos. However, due to the limitations of the void pearl, it could not cover the chaos. Furthermore, because Chang had been destroyed by Chu Zan, he had almost fully lost his ability to spy on the chaos. The transcendent laws of the heavenly sun world were already controlled by his void pearl, and the sun was the manifestation of these transcendent laws. It was also one of Hao's incarnations, he was able to exist in the void region without being turned into nothingness due to the protection of the void pearl. With this, he could influence the inhabitants of the heavenly sun world, oversee the birth of the new world, comprehend a higher realm, and open up a new path. He was as strong as a minor heavenly realm expert, and with the help of the void pearl, even a late stage minor heavenly realm expert would not be able to harm him, as he could transform into a state similar to nothingness. This was also the reason why Chu Zan was unable to detect its existence before he broke through to the Devada realm. Although Hao was a Tao supreme ruler, his strength far surpassed the other Tao supreme rulers. His Tao supreme ruler realm was perfect, and had been cultivated to its peak. The other Tao supreme rulers all had some flaws, which was also partially the work of Hao. Some of their flaws were innate, while others were intentionally created by Hao from the incompleteness of the path to the Tao supreme and Tao supreme ruler realms. This was also why they were unable to resist him. Even those from the chaos were affected by this. 
If a cultivator from the chaos wanted to break through to the Tao Supreme Realm, they had to enter the Heavenly Sun World to complete their yin and yang. Once they entered the Heavenly Sun World, they would naturally come into contact with Hao's consciousness, and during that process, be influenced by him. Chu Zan looked at the sun, which was Hao's incarnation. The origin essence of the experts that Hao had continuously harvested was gathered in the sun. In terms of power alone, it was no weaker than a middle-stage minor heavenly realm expert. One could imagine how many experts Hao had harvested to gather such a terrifying amount of origin essence. Furthermore, the sun also needed to consume power to maintain Hao's existence and activate the void pearl. It even nurtured the geniuses of the heavenly sun world. Thus, Chu Zan could imagine how much the experts of the heavenly sun world in the chaos hated Hao. They had cultivated diligently, and surpassed all kinds of hurdles to reach the pinnacle, only to be killed and harvested like farm animals. Who could take it? This cycle repeated itself over countless eras, and the origin essence eventually accumulated to this level. How sorrowful! Those geniuses and experts were really too miserable. What a sinister fellow! Chu Zan could imagine the despair and unwillingness of those peerless geniuses and Tao supreme rulers after discovering the truth. Therefore, they had joined forces to resist him this time, which was one of the many times this had happened. Chu Zan could kill Hao with a single thought, however, he did not do so. The new world was in the process of being born, and the Tao supreme rulers would soon make their move again. A good show was about to begin. Chapter 810 Infinity Realm To be honest, Chu Zan was also a little impressed by Hao. His methods were brilliant and insidious. Furthermore, despite countless uprisings against him, he still stood tall. If Chu Zan did not have the system, he would have likely ended up like the Tao supreme rulers as well. At the same time, he also despised Hao. To him, this guy was the same as Ju, the Chaos Supreme Realm cultivator who had cut off the path to the Chaos Supreme Realm. Both were afraid that the later generations would surpass them, and open up a new path that they were unable to tread. Chu Zan was different. He had created the Heavenly Tao, but he had never restricted or reaped the lives of the beings within the Heavenly Tao. This was how confident he was in his own ability, and the systems. Chu Zan looked at the Void region, and could see that the Pitch Black Mountain was heading toward the Heavenly Sun World. It was about to enter the area of the Void region controlled by the Origin Great Tao. He saw his parents among the returning experts. Moreover, they were the leaders of these experts. Zan Chu, the ancient master of the chaos. Chu Luo, the ruler of the ancient heavenly sun world. In ancient times, one controlled the chaos, while the other secretly controlled the heavenly sun world. Chu Zan saw that his father and mother both had precious treasures and were not affected by Hao's influence. They were true Tao supreme rulers who did not have the same cultivation foundation defects as the other Tao supreme rulers. Some of the newly advanced Tao supreme rulers on the mountain also had no flaws. Chu Luo and Zan Chu must have helped them to fix their hidden flaws. It seemed that fate had intervened. As Hao had kept killing and harvesting the origin essence of Tao supreme rulers, some changes had been triggered, and Chu Luo and Zan Chu, two geniuses who were not affected by Hao, rose up. Unfortunately, due to some complications back then, they had lost the great battle, and were forced to escape into the void region. Chu Zan retracted his gaze and turned his attention to the chaos. There, he saw Chu. That was the inheritance of his father, Chu Luo. He had already prepared a backup plan for failure. If he failed to defeat Hao this time, Chu would obtain his inheritance. Once the latter became stronger, it would be Chu's turn to go against Hao. Moreover, with Chu's cunning and shamelessness, he would be more cautious and meticulous in his plans. However, Chu Zan was not optimistic about this plan. Chu had only obtained the inheritance, but still had to evolve and surpass his father. How could he succeed? Seeing Chu's actions, Chu Zan's expression turned strange. Could it be that his father also relied on a female expert to rise to power? Although it was a good method, it was somewhat undignified. Chu Zan did not interfere with the development of the situation. When the two sides clashed, he would choose the best opportunity to deal with Hao. A conflict with Hao was inevitable. If the Heavenly Tao wanted to become the supreme law of the New World, it would not be able to avoid Hao. The origin Great Tao had already enveloped the chaos in the Heavenly Sun World. Furthermore, as it continued to expand, it laid the foundation for the creation of its own worlds. Chu Zan glanced at the Heavenly Tao seed, it was time to plant it. The Heavenly Tao seed naturally could not be planted near the origin Great Tao. Instead, it was planted in an empty area of the Void region far away from the origin Great Tao. The Heavenly Tao Seed would give birth to the myriad worlds, and the Origin Great Tao would also give birth to its own worlds. One day, they would come into contact with each other. Chu Zan looked at the next realm deduction reward and muttered to himself. He already knew the cultivation path after the Devada realm, so there was no need for the deduction. Above the Devada realm was the Devada ruler realm, much like the Tao Supreme and Tao Supreme ruler realm. As such, he decided to deduce the path of cultivation after the Devada ruler realm. He received the reward and activated the deduction. A series of images appeared in his mind. The world was born from nothingness. The world was endless and expanded continuously. 
at the same time, parts of the world turned into nothingness. A great Tao seemed to appear out of thin air and encompassed everything. The void region was within it, and the various worlds were within it as well, together with the good fortune and opportunities they contained. Boundless insights surged into his mind. The infinity realm. There is no end to it. Chu Zan opened his eyes, and it was as if the cycle of destiny was revolving within his eyes. Illusions of various worlds being born and destroyed were within them. The path of cultivation was already clear, so Chu Zan relaxed. Of course, he did not plan to cultivate. With the system by his side, it was much easier to get stronger simply by staying home and living a carefree life. Was that not better than cultivating in seclusion? Looking at the void region, Chu Zan raised his hand and threw the heavenly Tao seed into it. The heavenly Tao seed entered the void region and continued to move forward, far away from where the heavenly sun world, the chaos, and the origin great Tao were. Chu Zan did not care where the heavenly Tao seed would land. He could monitor the situation of the heavenly Tao seed at any time and control it at any time. Distance was not a factor that would influence his control. A hundred thousand years passed in the blink of an eye. Xiao Liang, Wang Luo, and his other disciples had broken through to the Tao Supreme Realm one after another. The heavenly Tao seeped into the heavenly sun world and became stronger and stronger. It was transforming into one of its transcendent laws. The development of yin and yang became more and more intense, as the chaos continued to sink below the heavenly sun world. New supreme laws were being born. However, every time this happened, they would be devoured and fused with the heavenly Tao. The sun became scorching hot. Chapter 811 The will of the Hao swept across the heavenly sun great world, as the battles became more and more intense. Hao began to move, uncomfortable with the amount of influence the Zon Gate sect had on the situation. Things were beginning to escape his grasp, which could not be allowed to continue. The new world was about to be born. The Tao Supreme Realm experts under the command of Hao began to appear in the heavenly sun world in an attempt to influence the development of the situation. Ding Yu, Xiao Liang, and the other disciples began to fight these Tao Supreme Realm experts. Ding Yu had killed one of the original six Tao Supreme Realm experts, while the other five seemed to have been attacked for some reason. New Tao Supreme Realm experts had suddenly appeared in the Heavenly Sun World, and all of them targeted the Zon Gate sect. These new experts were obviously naturally nurtured by Hao and hidden in the Sun they were called Messengers of Heaven. In fact, in the Sun, there were not only Tao Supreme Realm experts, but also Tao Supreme Rulers. Chu Zan did not interfere and allowed Hao to do as he pleased. It was a good opportunity for Ding Yu and the other disciples to accumulate battle experience and hone themselves. The development of the situation was deliberately slowed down by the arrival of these messengers of heaven. Since Hao wanted to take things slow, Chu Zan would let him be. This would allow more time for Ding Yu and the others to increase their strength. The pitch black mountain had already entered the area encompassed by the origin Great Tao, yet no one noticed the existence of the origin Great Tao. The mountain stopped moving, as its forces could tell that things were being delayed. Since that was the case, they could only wait. There were a few Tao Supreme Realm experts who entered the Heavenly Sun World for short periods of time to investigate. There, they received news of the Zon Gate sect. A Tao Supreme Ruler asked, The Zon Gate sect isn't on Hao's side? The Messengers of Heaven were undoubtedly Hao's puppets. Since these Messengers of Heaven were in conflict with the Zon Gate sect, then it should not be a force created by Hao. However, apart from them, who else would dare to go up against Hao? The changing situation requires Yin and Yang to compete with each other. Hao is the one leading the change, so how could he only nurture one side? Whether it's the Zon Gate sect or the messengers of heaven, they are all just Hao's tools to create the change he desires, another Tao supreme ruler said. The others nodded. Hao would use these two forces to stir up the inhabitants of the heavenly sun world in the chaos, and ultimately drive the situation to his desired outcome. Since the development of the situation slowed down, and the birth of the new world was naturally delayed as well. Hao wanted to break through before the new world was born as the constant spread of the heavenly Tao laws into the heavenly sun world pressured him. The transcendent laws of the heavenly sun world and the heavenly Tao laws were in constant competition. The geniuses of the heavenly sun world and the chaos fought at the intersection of yin and yang. For now, the Zon Gate sect and the messengers of heaven seemed to be evenly matched. The disciples of the Zon Gate sect were powerful, but there were many messengers of heaven, and thus a balance of power was formed. Another million years passed, and the new world got closer and closer to completion. Meanwhile, at the edge of the chaos in the heavenly sun world, two figures silently observed the situation. Chu Luo and Zan Chu also wanted to use this opportunity to gain enlightenment and break through. Chu Zan was already at the peak of the Devada realm. After two million years, he broke through to the Devada ruler realm. Then, the sun of the heavenly sun world began to fall. More than 60% of the people in the heavenly sun world had already died. Countless mortals and cultivators perished in battle. Ding Yu and Hei Yu had already broken through to the Tao Supreme Ruler Realm. Yi Lingling, Shui Ping, Qi Le, and Chu Yu were already Tao Supreme Realm experts. 
Under Chu Zan's guidance, his disciples' cultivation levels advanced by leaps and bounds, constantly breaking through. Now, even Qin Ying, Ren Chongha, Kingslayer, and Feng Kong had reached the Tao creation realm. Du Yuan was about to create his Tao. Ji had already reached the peak of the Tao creation realm, and was on the verge of reaching the Tao supreme realm. The heavenly Tao had already gained the upper hand, seizing dominance over half of the heavenly sun world's transcendent laws. Hao could no longer restrain himself, and was preparing to appear personally and intervene. The group of experts under Chu Luo and Zan Chu had already made their preparations to fight Hao. Lai Tian and Chunlin also traveled to the intersection between Yin and Yang, but neither of them had come into contact with these experts, nor discovered the existence of the pitch black mountain. At this moment, Chu Zan was looking toward the void region, where a huge Dao tree had sprouted and grown. The myriad worlds were born from and on the heavenly Dao tree. Many living creatures and races were spawned into existence, and there were now 3,000 worlds. 200,000 years ago, Chu Zan passed down a cultivation method, and the living beings there began to cultivate. Most of the first batch of cultivators had already died of old age. Only a few who had obtained great opportunities and great fortunes had survived and cultivated until now. As they continued to cultivate and break through, the upper limit of cultivation in these worlds would continue to increase. There were even geniuses who had created new cultivation methods. That being said, Due to these worlds being in their infancy, the strength of the cultivators here were naturally far inferior to those in the heavenly sun world and the chaos. Chapter 812 However, in terms of creation and potential, these worlds surpassed the heavenly sun world and the chaos. All they needed was time. Chu Zan looked at the universe where earth had once been located. It had long gone silent and had turned into a pearl, floating alone in the void region. If no one took it away, it would eventually turn into nothingness. Chu Zan called Hei Yu over. Master, Hei Yu greeted respectfully. Chu Zan waved his hand, and an image manifested itself, indicating the location of the universe pearl in the void region. This is a universe pearl, and it's a supreme treasure. You should retrieve it from the void region. Yes, master. Hei Yu was overjoyed. How could a treasure that existed in the void be compared to an ordinary supreme treasure? She immediately set off to find the universe pearl. The universe pearl had its own world and contained the power of time and space, thus Chu Zan concluded that Hei Yu was the most suited to use it. When Hei Yu entered the void region, Chu Luo and Zan Chu were shocked. Why did this Tao supreme ruler not have any flaws? Moreover, she possessed the aura of the chaos, and seemed to be intimately connected to the supreme laws of the chaos. Could this person be a chess piece that Hao had nurtured in order to control the chaos? The two of them hesitated, wondering if they should make a move and deal with her. However, on second thought, since Hao had allowed her to enter the void region, he definitely was not afraid of them taking action against her. Perhaps this was a trap, and this Tao supreme ruler was the bait. Therefore, Chu Luo and Zan Chu continued to hide themselves, and did not arrange for anyone to follow Hei Yu. After all, other than the two of them, the other Tao supreme rulers were unable to tail another Tao supreme ruler secretly. When Hei Yu entered the void region, she vaguely sensed that someone was spying on her, but she could not find the source. After pondering the matter, she ignored it. Since her master had allowed her to enter the void region, then she would naturally trust that she would encounter nothing beyond her capabilities here. Another 100,000 years passed, and Yin and Yang fused, and became one the new world was born. Chu Luo and Zan Chu were on the verge of breaking through, but it was already too late. As the heavenly Tao continued to transform, it devoured and fused with the newly born supreme laws. Boom. The moment the heavenly sun world and the chaos fused, great fortune emerged, and the new world began to expand into the void region. Stars appeared in the sky, which were formed by the transcendent laws. A bright moon was born, and a new sun was being born. The original sun was sinking continuously, and a majestic figure that could not be fathomed appeared within the original sun. The original sun was transforming into that majestic person. Ding Yu was in the heavenly sun world, and Hei Yu, who had already obtained the universe pearl, was in the chaos. The disciples of the Zon Gate sect seemed to have become the leaders of each side. A pitch black mountain appeared from the void region and crashed into the new world. One figure after another appeared from the mountain. They had finally returned. At the same time, that majestic and unfathomable figure made his presence known. How? Heavenly Tao already had the absolute upper hand in the struggle for the supreme laws of the new world, and would soon assume the position as the only supreme law of the new world. How opened his eyes. He was like a supreme ruler looking down on the ant-like living beings. At this moment, countless mortals and cultivators were killed in both the heavenly sun world and the chaos, becoming the sacrificial victims to fuel the birth of the new world. The great Tao that connected yin and yang was being born. At this moment, the reincarnation Great Tao from the Heavenly Tao had already spread out from the chaos and invaded the Yin and Yang Great Tao that was being born. It was absorbing parts of the Yin and Yang Great Tao to form the reincarnation cycle of the New World. The reincarnation cycle was the foundation of the Yin and Yang cycle. In Hao's eyes, the Heavenly Tao was created by Chu Luo and the other rebels to prevent him from becoming the ruler of the New World. 
On the other hand, Chu Luo and the others believed that the Heavenly Tao was created by Hao himself to dominate the chaos and, following that, the new world. Neither of them considered the possibility of a third party. After all, it had always been their two sides fighting. They thought the same about the Zan Gate sect. A majestic voice was heard. Chu Luo, Zan Chu, do you think you can defy the heavens? I am the heavens, and no one can change that. Chu Luo, Zan Chu, and the others looked extremely solemn. Dao Supreme Realm cultivators did not even dare to look directly at that majestic figure. How? The world has its own fate. You have repeatedly killed and harvested cultivators and cut off the path of those who seek to ascend to your level. You have impinged upon the fate of the world. You deserve to die, Chu Luo said in a deep voice. I was born from the great fortune of the chaos and control it. Even you are not worthy of this fortune, Zan Chu's cold voice chimed in. Haha, I pioneered the Tao Supreme Path and monopolized the world to this day. If it weren't for me, how could you have cultivated to your current level? You want to defy me? Dream on. A majestic figure stepped out imposingly as he said coldly, Chu Luo, your methods are indeed extraordinary, but do you really think that you can fight me just by creating this heavenly Tao? Do you really think that you can shake me just because you created the Zan Gate sect and nurtured extraordinary disciples? You're too naive. Today, I'll let you know that I'm the heavens, and nothing will stand in my way. You're just ants. Shua. Including Zan Chu, everyone looked at Chu Luo in shock and amazement. Chu Luo was dumbfounded. Chapter 813 Everyone looked at Chu Luo in unison. This plan was so well concealed, as expected of their leader. Everyone on Chu Luo's side was filled with admiration. The heavenly sun world was influenced by the will of Hao, yet Chu Luo had managed to nurture a force that was unaffected by it, and even managed to take charge of the heavenly sun world. It was unspeakably amazing. Furthermore, he had Zan Chu on his side, the master of chaos, who was known as the most extraordinary woman since ancient times. If it was not for the accident back then, he would probably have already defeated Hao. They were filled with confidence and fighting spirit. Zan Chu glared at Chu Luo coldly and gritted her teeth. This cunning and shameless person kept saying that they were husband and wife, and that he did not hide anything and had no secrets. Yet he had secretly planned such an elaborate and far-reaching scheme. However, if his scheme was so elaborate, why had her son disappeared? Could it be that he had sacrificed his son for this scheme? How hateful! Chu Luo was dumbfounded, heavenly Tao. How was the Zan Gate sect related to him? Were those two forces not created by Hao? The new supreme law of the chaos, which was about to become the supreme law of the new world, actually was not created by Hao. Then whose scheme was it? Who had the ability to do so? A hidden third party? Where did this third party come from? Chu Luo realized that things had gone out of control. He took a deep breath and ignored Zan Chu's cold gaze and the excited expressions of the others. He looked solemnly at Hao, who was walking over toward them with an increasingly powerful aura. Hao. Did you not create the Zan Gate sect? Did you not create the Heavenly Tao? Chu Luo, are you still trying to pretend even now? A transcendent aura appeared around Hao's body, and his terrifying power began to sweep out, shaking toward the Heavenly Tao. Hao, Chu Luo said solemnly, I swear upon my Tao heart that the Heavenly Tao and the Zan Gate sect have nothing to do with me, I didn't create them. There really was a third party behind this. At this moment, Chu Luo became cautious. They were here to defeat Hao, but he did not want to be taken advantage of by others. Hao's figure froze. The other experts were stunned, and Zan Chu frowned. How? You really didn't create the Heavenly Tao and the Zan Gate sect? Chu Luo asked seriously. Hao's gaze was piercingly cold, and his dignified voice also became gloomy. I would resort to such lowly schemes. The expressions of the group of experts on Chu Luo's were uncertain. The great battle that was about to erupt could not be fought at this moment. Thinking back to Hao's past style of doing things, this was really the case. Hao looked at Zan Chu. The Heavenly Tao came from the chaos. There were also disciples of the Zan Gate sect who came from the chaos. Zan Chu, you're indeed the master of the chaos, what a good move. Other than Zan Chu, no one else had the ability to set up such a scheme. Even though Zan Chu had never given people the impression that she was a scheming person, who could guarantee that she was not just hiding it well. At this moment, everyone turned to look at Zan Chu. They could not believe it. Zan Chu actually did this. Chu Luo's mouth twitched. Based on his understanding of Zan Chu, she definitely did not. Otherwise, she would not have been deceived by him back then. Ahem, cough, cough, he meant that she would not have been touched by him and ended up marrying him, that is. The Heavenly Tao and the Zan Gate sect have nothing to do with me. A. If the Heavenly Tao and the Zan Gate sect had not been created by Hao, Chu Luo, or Zan Chu, then could there be a third party? Everyone was bewildered. Hao, where's my son? Zan Chu asked coldly. Hao was stunned and somewhat in disbelief. When did you become Tao companions? I once sent an incarnation into the chaos, but you were black-hearted and cold-blooded. Not only did you reject my incarnation's pursuit, you even killed it. There was actually such a thing? Such a thing had happened? 
Everyone looked at Zan Chu in shock. Chu Luo was surprised. Then, he thought of someone. Back then, this was extremely glorious, had monstrous talent, and admired Zan Chu. Then, he suddenly disappeared. He was actually killed by Zan Chu? Zan Chu frowned. Judging from Hao's reaction, he did not know that she and Chu Luo had a son. Since Hao did not take him away, why did he disappear? That guy was your incarnation. Recalling her memories of that person, Zan Chu was also a little surprised. Ah, I see. That makes sense now. I felt that he was a threat and harbored ill intentions, so I killed him. Those who knew about Zan Chu's past twitched their mouths. It was rumored that countless geniuses in the heavenly sun world and the chaos admired Zan Chu and pursued her. In the end, they were all killed by Zan Chu one by one. The reason was that she found them all too annoying. From then on, no one dared to pursue Zan Chu or appear around her. Many of the experts looked at Chu Luo. This person somehow pulled off the impossible. Chapter 814, You really didn't capture my son? Zan Chu's face was cold and her brows were furrowed. I didn't capture anyone in the chaos. Instead, one of my chess pieces was destroyed. Hao looked at Chu Luo and sneered. You cunning fellow. How could you become Zan Chu's Dao companion? Zan Chu must be blind. Back then, one of my incarnations wanted to become your Dao companion. You cunning fellow, after using her, you actually abandoned my incarnation. Everyone felt their brain cells short circuit at this moment. Why was the relationship between these three so complicated? Also, was Hao a male or a female, or was it both? Could it be that some of the rumors about Chu Luo when he was young were true? That, in his early years, he relied on female experts to obtain cultivation resources? Zan Chu glared at Chu Luo with a cold expression and gritted her teeth. The corner of Chu Luo's mouth twitched, and he quickly said, so that SLT was your incarnation. It was no wonder I felt that something was wrong and found an opportunity to kill her. I killed his incarnation. I didn't hook up with his incarnation, really. Chu Luo looked at Zan Chu innocently. In the small valley, Chu Zan was watching all of this with a rather embarrassed expression on his face. His father was actually such a person. Enough chit-chat. I want to see what the Heavenly Dao and Zan Gate sect are capable of. Hao snorted coldly. More than ten figures appeared, who were all Dao supreme rulers. Chu Luo's side looked extremely solemn. Hao had actually nurtured so many Dao supreme rulers. Be prepared to join forces with the Heavenly Dao and the mysterious sect. Hao is the real enemy, Chu Luo said in a low voice. Understood. They had come here to defeat Hao anyway. Hao's Dao supreme rulers charged straight at the Heavenly Dao. A powerful aura erupted, and a sword beam came flashing out of the Heavenly Dao, blocking two Dao supreme rulers. Then, a halberd streaked across the sky, blocking another Dao supreme ruler. It was Qin. He was a divine being of the Heavenly Dao. Now that the Heavenly Dao had reached this level of power, he also possessed the power of a Dao supreme ruler. Feng Yang also made his move to stop one Dao supreme ruler. A strange pitch black bird flew across the sky, and darkness engulfed the area. Yi Yuazhun. A giant tortoise appeared. Gui Ran. Its shell flickered with profound light, and its defenses were impenetrable. Black tortoise? No, it's not the black tortoise. Chu Luo frowned. Then, a jade dragon appeared from the dense mist of time. Huang Long. Each of them stopped one of the Dao supreme rulers. At this moment, Hao turned solemn. This is not enough. He took a step forward, and his imposing figure exuded a terrifying power as he raised his hand toward the heavenly Dao. Crash. A strange tree appeared. Its flowers bloomed and shone brightly. Spirit devouring flower. Screech. A huge golden rock spread its wings and flew out of the heavenly Dao. Its might shook the sky as it joined forces with the spirit devouring flower. Golden rock. Hao was surprised. What? An ancient Dao supreme ruler from Chu Luo's side exclaimed. The sky-shaking golden rock is said to be a creature from the same era as Hao, or even before him. It was defeated by Hao and fled into the void region. It disappeared. The appearance of the sky-shaking golden rock caused them to believe that this third party was created by ancient existences that Hao had killed or driven away. The defeated opponent dares to defy me. Hao snorted coldly. Yin and Yang revolved around his palm, and the phenomenon of the creation and destruction of the great Dao appeared. There were also the different worldly phenomena that appeared in his palm at this moment. Chu Luo and Zan Chu were both shocked. The two of them looked at each other and saw the seriousness in each other's eyes. Hao seemed to have broken through before the birth of the new world. At this moment, a roar was heard, and four gigantic figures appeared from the four corners of the heavenly Dao. The azure dragon, white tiger, vermilion bird, and black tortoise all suppressed Hao with surging divine might. The four divine beasts. At this moment, no one doubted that the heavenly Dao and the Zan Gate sect were founded by these ancient existences. Do you want to defy me with this? Hao sneered and continued to push his hand forward. At the same time, the new world also surged with terrifying power. It was as if the power of the new world was gathering toward Hao. After controlling the heavenly sun world for so long, 
he had harvested the lives of countless experts in the name of the heavens, destroying and creating era after era. This world, even the chaos, had his mark. The four divine beasts, including the golden rock, were unable to resist and were forced to retreat. In the end, they were only Dao's supreme rulers. Attack! Chu Luo shouted. His figure soared into the sky. He was like a bright sun in the sky. His figure was majestic and boundless. Zan Chu's figure also disappeared from where she stood. In an instant, a full moon that was no weaker than Chu Luo's sun appeared. It gleamed with a cold light. At this moment, Chu Luo and Zan Chu joined forces, the sun and moon fused, and yin and yang became one. Kill them. The Dao supreme rulers roared angrily. The pitch black mountain soared into the sky. Today, I'll let you know what the heavens are. Hao's majestic voice resounded throughout the new world. The heavens are inevitable. Boom. The world seemed to turn upside down, and chaos descended upon the world. The power of yin and yang filled the world. Chapter 815 Hao's imposing figure instantly grew sixteen arms. The power of creation that was born within the new world was gathering around him, and was augmented by the power of the sun that he had accumulated through countless eras. One hand struck out toward the pitch black mountain. Four hands struck toward Chu Luo and Zan Chu. The rest of his hands were aimed at the heavenly Tao. In a small courtyard in the valley, Chu Zan was still sitting on the chair, watching the battle leisurely. Lai Tian's head spun around anxiously, and Chunlin could not hide her nervousness. Wang Luo and the others had yet to reach the Dao Supreme Ruler realm and could not participate in the battle, and stood in the courtyard and watched the battle helplessly. Sect Master, aren't you going to make a move? Lai Tian was extremely anxious, as he saw his big sister on the pitch black mountain. Boom. The pitch black mountain was stopped. The group of Dao Supreme Rulers and Dao Supreme Realm experts roared and used all their strength to fight against the giant hand. However, they were unable to push forward. On the other side, Chu Luo and Zan Chu were also caught in a bitter battle. An ancient Dao supreme ruler stepped forward. At this moment, we can only fight to the death. If we win, we'll have a new beginning. If we lose, everything will be over. Everyone, help me. All the Dao supreme realm experts collapsed at that moment, and the power of their cultivation surged into the Dao supreme ruler. At this moment, the ancient Dao supreme ruler's body cracked, and his soul shook. How? With the help of the other Dao supreme rulers, he charged out of the mountain. Boom. He pushed the giant hand away a little, and the mountain took the opportunity to rush out and continue to rush toward the sun that was about to be born. They are really heroic. Chu Zan sighed. From this, it could be seen how much these people hated Hao. He was not in a hurry to attack, he would plunge Hao into despair at the opportune moment. Those experts had left behind some of their origin essence, so as long as Hao was defeated, they would be able to revive. Boom. The heavenly Dao trembled as its laws appeared to resist Hao's attack. Chu Luo and Zan Chu's power suddenly merged and shook Hao's hands away. A powerful attack blasted toward Hao's body. However, the attack had no effect, it was as if it had struck nothingness. Chu Luo and Zan Chu's heart sank. Chu Zan shook his head. His parents were still a little weak. Hao had the void pearl, so these attacks could not hurt him. The mountain was blocked again, but most of Hao's attention was on the Heavenly Dao. Only the Heavenly Dao was a threat to him. Previously, he had underestimated the Heavenly Dao and was too careless about the Zan Gate sect. From the Heavenly Dao, a cat leisurely flew out. It exuded a transcendent aura, as if it contained some kind of fortune. At this moment, Hao was shocked. Chaos Spirit. Chu Zan was surprised when he heard this. The Heavenly Spirit Cat was actually a Chaos Spirit? No, that can't be right. Hao felt like he was losing control. The Chaos Spirit had been devoured by him. Although, the cat in front of him was almost no different from a Chaos Spirit, it definitely could not be one. Hao's eyes shone brightly. At this moment, his aura became even stronger. The worldly phenomena in his palm churned and suppressed the heavenly Tao. Hei Yu stepped forward, and a pearl emerged in front of her. Universe Pearl. Gather your strength. At this moment, the four divine beasts, the sky-shaking golden rock, and the others all gathered their power into the universe pearl. Starlight shone brightly, and a space-time phenomenon appeared. The universe pearl blocked Hao's attack. Where did you get that treasure? Hao realized at this moment that the situation had really gone out of control. He had to treat this seriously. Boom. A giant palm slammed toward the mountain angrily. Ants, get lost. Bang. The mountain fell to the ground, and the Dao supreme rulers all vomited blood. Yu Chin stepped forward, and an ethereal aura filled the air. It's time to fight for the last time. In the small courtyard, Lai Tian could no longer sit still. Shua. He rushed out of the valley and flew toward the mountain. Big sister, wait. Don't do anything stupid. Yu Chin was stunned. A head flew over. Lai Tian. The moment Lai Tian rushed into the mountain, his physical body gathered and he returned to his true form. Big sister, don't fight anymore, he grabbed Yu Chin's hands. Yu Chin looked at him in surprise, you've reached the Dao Supreme Realm? You should leave this place quickly, 
This matter is not something you can get involved in. Big sister, don't rush anymore. That guy won't be able to do as he wishes. Leave him to the Zon Gate sect. Lai Tian had a helpless look on his face, he did not even know what Chu Zon was waiting for. Would it not be over if he killed that guy? The sect master of the Zon Gate sect is very powerful. Let's wait for him to make his move. Yu Chin stared at him, which made him feel guilty. He lowered his head slightly and said, I am an elder of the Zon Gate sect. The sect master is very powerful and has already surpassed the ruler realm. Big sister, don't fight anymore. The sect master will take care of it. The group of Dao's supreme rulers surrounded him. Is the sect master of the Zon Gate sect really that powerful? Then why isn't he attacking? He, he's just watching the show. The corners of Lai Tian's mouth twitched. Watching the show? The Dao supreme rulers were all dumbfounded. Hao's aura was getting stronger and stronger. His powerful force blasted Chu Luo and Zan Chu away and forced them to retreat. At this moment, Chu Luo and Zan Chu had no choice but to land on the mountain. No attack can hurt Hao. Chu Luo looked bitter. Chapter 816. Zan Chu was also silent. Heavens, could it really be irreversible? You're saying that the leader of the Celestial Sect of Wonders is watching a show? Yu Qin suddenly pinched Lai Tian until his entire body started to hurt. Yes, yes. Lai Tian had an innocent look on his face. I'm not the one watching the show. Chu Luo suddenly grabbed Lai Tian's head and pulled him over. She asked, who is the leader of the Celestial Sect of Wonders? Lai Tian gulped. Facing Chu Luo, he felt a terrifying pressure. Break. Suddenly, Hao let out a furious roar. Everyone looked up. This was the first time Hao had lost his composure in such a rage. Under Hao's bombardment, not only did the Heavenly Dao not crumble, but it continued to spread instead. It was already about to completely transform into the transcendental rules of the new territories. No wonder Hao was so angry. Once the Heavenly Dao became the transcendental rule of the new territories, he would no longer be able to be the heaven and rule the new territories. Boom. The defense of the universe pearl was broken. Hei Yu and the others were sent flying. The attack was about to land on the Heavenly Dao and destroy it. A light laugh was heard. Don't be so angry, in the small courtyard. Chu Zan extended a hand. Look at me holding the heavens with one hand, he said to Su Xian Er and the others with a smile. He had already decided that after this matter, he would continue to stay in another place. It was time for him to show himself. Now that he was invincible, he had nothing to worry about. In the eyes of Chu Luo and the others, an unpredictable hand suddenly appeared and grabbed Hao's body. Hao, who was immeasurably tall and mighty, was actually shrinking continuously. No matter how he roared, struggled, or was angry, it was useless. He grabbed Hao and landed on the ground. The sect master has made his move. Lai Tian was pleasantly surprised. Chu Luo subconsciously let go of Sky Splitter. Everyone was stunned. What kind of powerful existence was this? Sky Splitter flew towards the courtyard. Chu Luo and the others came back to their senses and followed him. In the small courtyard, a group of people gathered together, curiously and dumbfoundedly looking at the figure lying on the ground. Was this the heavens? It was a furry, golden ape. Different from ordinary ape creatures, it had a pair of small snow-white wings on its back. His facial features were 80-90% to 90 similar to humans. It looked like a baby's face. The slender arms were like the arms of a monkey, but the palms were more like a human hand. Its black and white tail looked more like a cat's tail. If one looked closely, other than the color, the shape was very similar to the tail of the heavenly spirit cat. Lying on the ground, she looked adorable. The group of people was dumbfounded. This was how? the heavens that had ruled for countless years? They were all in disbelief. A moment ago, the imposing and unfathomable figure was actually so adorable? When Chu Zan first saw Hao's true body, he was also stunned. However, after thinking about it, he understood what was going on. This guy had devoured the spirit of chaos and the saint of the heavenly sun he had also obtained many great fortunes and devoured too many creatures from the beginning of the world. Slowly, it transformed into what it was today. When Chu Luo and the others arrived outside the valley, they were nervous. Nishan Peak shrunk and Chu Luo held it in her palm. The group of people carefully approached the small courtyard and saw a group of people gathered together, looking at something curiously. Where was Hao? Zan Chu's body suddenly trembled. He looked at the figure in the courtyard. Chu Luo looked over and was also stunned. Zan, Zan, er? Zan Chu's figure moved and appeared in front of Chu Zan. Looking at the woman who had a cold temperament but was now so excited and had tears in her eyes, Chu Zan sighed in his heart. It's me, you. Zan Chu didn't know what to say. After all, they had been separated for countless years. How old was Chu Zan when they left? Thousands of words seemed to be difficult to describe. Chu Luo looked at Hao, who was lying on the ground, and burst out laughing. Ha ha, Hao, you lost to me in the end. As expected of my son, Chu Luo. The heavens can easily take him down. Chu Luo was so excited. Chu Zan's mouth twitched. He really wanted to slap him away, but when he thought of how he was his father in this life, he endured it. 
He endured it. Zan Chu didn't stand on ceremony. Chu Luo was sent flying with a slap. Get lost. Chu Luo wanted to dodge, but she couldn't move at all. The moment he was sent flying, he glared at Chu Zan without a hint of anger. Boom. The Heavenly Tao had transformed into the transcendental rules of the new territories, and the new territories were officially born at this moment. It was like a huge planet, expanding and expanding. It was more than a hundred times larger than the sun and chaos. The spiritual energy was also denser. Tao runes were born, and good fortune was revealed. A new sun appeared in the sky. Then, it was night again. The moon was high in the sky, and the stars were densely packed. A group of heaven-defying experts looked up at the starry sky with tears streaming down their faces. They had finally entered a brand new era. After that, all living beings would comprehend the heavenly Tao and would not be restricted by the heaven. The group of heaven-defying experts left the small valley. They wanted to revive the experts who had fallen for defying the heavens. Let their essences reincarnate through reincarnation, and in the next life, they would continue their relationship as master and disciple. Zan Chu sat on a chair and looked at Chu Zan, listening to him talk about the celestial realm. Very soon, she would be able to break through to the Devada realm. Chu Luo stood beside Zan Chu and listened. When Chu Zan finished his lecture, she exclaimed, as expected of my son. Then, he looked at Zan Chu. I didn't lie to you, right? Our bloodlines are definitely monstrous. It'll be easy to take down Hao Du. Chapter 817 Zan Chu ignored him. Instead, she looked at Hao, who was lying on the ground, and asked, Shwenner, how are you going to deal with him? You can do whatever you want with him, Chu Zan shrugged and replied. Zan Chu frowned for a while, before saying, since he used the name of heaven to bring disaster to all living beings, we shall punish him by making him bring blessings to this new world, and also feel the sufferings of all living beings. Sure. Chu Zan waved his hand and Hao disappeared, appearing within the heavenly Tao. Hao opened his eyes, but they were lifeless. He had planned for countless years to create the new world and pioneer a new path. In the end, he was actually surpassed by a junior who was capable of toying with him at will. Compared to this junior, he was trash. Take a good look at it. This might not be a disaster for you, and might turn out to be a blessing. In the future, Hao would bear the sufferings of the people in the new world. Perhaps one day, he would understand the sufferings of the common people and be free. Chu Zan looked at this new world and slowly said, From now on, this world shall be called Planet Earth. At this moment, the living beings of the new world learned the name of this world. Planet Earth. For 10,000 years, Chu Zan preached the Tao. You're all on your own now. He looked at Ding Yu and the other disciples. The path ahead is up to you. The path to the heavenly realm has been opened for you. Chu Luo and Zan Chu had already broken through to the minor heavenly realm, and even reached the middle stage of the minor heavenly realm. However, advancing further would take time and effort. As for the great heavenly realm, that would require them to have great fortune and opportunities. Currently, besides Chu Zan, his parents were the strongest. He said to his disciples, I'll leave the Zan Gate sect to you. This is where the sect is headquartered. Chu Zan waved his hand, and the Zan Gate scripture pavilion expanded. The top floor was filled with the booklets up to the great heavenly realm. The small valley had also expanded in size 10,000 times. However, the small courtyard remained the same. The Zan Gate sect only accepts peerless geniuses and only those who are fated to enter this valley. Those who are fated to enter this valley possess great luck. You can take in disciples now, but true disciples must pass the test of this valley. Yes, master. Ding Yu and the other disciples bowed. If you too like it, you can stay in the Zan Gate sect and help to manage it. Chu Zan looked at Chu Luo and Zan Chu. Shwenner, what are you planning to do? Zan Chu asked. There is no end to the path of cultivation. We will meet again if we are fated. Chu Zan smiled. Zan Chu wanted to say something else, but Chu Luo pulled her hand back and said, Shwenner has his own path. What we need to do is to support him. We will meet again one day. Sir, you can't abandon me. Su Shenner tugged on Chu Zan's arm. Chu Zan rubbed her head. He definitely had to bring this maidservant along. After all, he was already used to having her around. Thirteenth brother, I want to continue teaching the people on planet Earth. I won't be leaving with you, Chu Yun said with a smile. Very well. Chu Zan nodded and smiled. We'll meet again if fate allows it. Chu Zan waved his hand, and with Su Shenner in his arms, he took a step forward and disappeared. Planet Earth had been around for a million years, and was experiencing another prosperous era of cultivation. For mortals, innumerable generations had passed. Within the heavenly Tao, Hao experienced the sufferings of the common people. He experienced the hesitation and despair of the cultivators who suffered under his rule while he was the heavens. I was wrong. I was really wrong, Hao muttered. However, he could not free himself. A figure walked over. This monk's clothes were as white as snow, untainted by dust. He was handsome and kind. Amitabha, almsgiver, have you comprehended the truth? Please teach me, master, Hao raised his head and said sincerely. Good, good. Demon Buddha sat down and chanted Buddhist scriptures. 
Far away, Wang Luo, Shang Xing, and the others gathered together. Is Demon Buddha going to convert Hao? Probably. I can't be bothered with him. Ten million years later on planet Earth, the Zon Gate sect had already recruited its third generation of disciples since Chu Zon left. Furthermore, its geniuses were the strongest on planet Earth, and were strong enough to take on the great responsibility of being the successors of the Zon Gate sect. Outside planet Earth, in the Void region, a group of people were gathered. Chu Luo and Zon Chu were leading their experts, while Ding Yu and Hei Yu were leading the experts of the Zon Gate sect. Let's go and explore the Void region. The Zon Gate sect has prepared many trump cards, so there won't be any problems if we leave. Moreover, the true foundation of the sect is the Heavenly Tao. Why worry about the future of the sect? We are the real Zon Gate sect. Haha, <laughs> that's true. We are the real Zon Gate sect. The current Zon Gate sect can't be considered authentic. These two groups of people traveled together to explore the Void region. On the mountain, an ape-like creature put its palms together and chanted Buddhist scriptures. Hao had experienced the suffering of the common people and let go of his obsessions, he joined the Buddhist sect and became a Buddhist. Somewhere in the distant void region, there was a universe. It was formed by countless worlds. There were countless races here, and every once in a while, a race would die. However, new races were also constantly being born. There were many cultivation systems here. There were pure physical martial arts, as well as profound immortal techniques, and so on. In terms of prosperity and size, planet Earth could not compare to this universe. The foundation of such a large number of worlds was an invisible Dao tree. In the highest world here, Chu Zan opened his mouth and munched on the spiritual fruits that Su Shenner was feeding him, he felt extremely satisfied. It was not a big world, but it was above all the other worlds. No expert could discover or spy on this world. This was life. The heavenly spirit cat was lying by his feet, and the sky-shaking golden rock was perched on a mountain in the world. The spirit devouring flower bloomed with purple and red flowers, it was extremely beautiful. Pets, a maidservant, and everything he could ever ask for. Life was comfortable. You stayed at home for 100 million years, opening up the myriad worlds. You have been rewarded with the infinity creation body, an infinity realm breakthrough, and the system. Your will is now the system's rules, you can change the system rules. Chu Zan's eyes lit up. He was such a shut-in that even the system had given up on him? He had finally broken through to the infinity realm. As its name suggested, Chu Zan did not know when he would be able to cultivate to the end of this realm. He was already at the peak of the cultivation path, the strongest expert. No one could catch up to him. Chu Zan looked at the myriad worlds below, he had personally created what he had once boasted about. These were the myriad worlds, in the void region, a mountain flew toward the myriad worlds. Everyone on the mountain peak was stunned, what's that? At their cultivation level, they could actually see how many worlds there were, there were countless layers. These words had surpassed planet earth. Moreover, the upper limit of cultivation here seemed to be higher. The mountain entered a huge world, which was one of the top worlds. Chu Luo and Zan Chu realized that the strongest person in this realm was only at the peak of the Tao creation realm. However, the laws and cultivation limits of this realm were higher than those of planet Earth. Why were cultivators weaker? Everyone realized that these countless worlds were a huge treasure trove. A voice suddenly rang out in everyone's minds, Welcome to the myriad worlds. Schwenner, Master, that figure appeared in everyone's minds. The mountain flew involuntarily into a small world. As the majestic golden rock flew overhead, they all saw the young man sitting on the chair leisurely. Chu Zan looked at the group of people and smiled. With a thought, worlds were born one after another outside planet Earth. In an instant, the myriad worlds were established. The origin Great Tao continued to expand in the void region, and the heavenly Tao began to spread to the myriad worlds and became the supreme law of these myriad worlds. End of the book.